Alright, so we're trying something different this time. We've got the uh, camera hanging from the uh, kitchen uh, light chandelier. And that'll give a nice overview. Um, tripod, not quite tall enough. So this is a Optiplex 780. Or no, wait, this one's a 745. Uh, it's Optiplex 745. Pretty much identical um, in these Optiplex 7 series and also in the GX uh, 620. Um, so we're going to be taking the motherboard out right now to uh, replace bad capacitors. So you got this little spring thing over here, pulls the front cover off top cover and we already pulled the hard drive out but hard drive tray you just squeeze it comes out um, set these to the side um, pull this uh, little thing up and the drive tray will slide backwards you can unplug the uh, power SATA cable to the CD drive, and I'm going to pull these out. And we've got a um, front panel connector, a power connector right here, and we've got one of these little wraps. Undo that. Power connector and then and pull the uh, front panel connector off. Lay that out of the way. We got the uh, auxiliary power plug, P4 plug. I'll do that. Now we are ready to take the uh, heat sink off. Two Phillips head screws right here at the front. It's kind of spring loaded to keep the spring tension on the heat sink. And then it just flips up. So that comes out. Now we've got several uh, Phillips head screws around the motherboard. Take those out. We'll undo this fan connector. And pull these out. So now we've got all that undone, make it a little easier, I'm going to go ahead and pull this connector off of there, get that out of the way, and then we'll tuck this in, and we may end up pulling the power supply out. out. And as you can see, we've got a couple bulging capacitors that we will replace. 
pretty easy to get these things apart. Like I said, pretty much any of these small form factor, um, 7 series, 745, um, along those lines. Um, the same way, and the GX620 comes apart the same way.